Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Forager. And today I got a couple things I wanna go over. So you might have watched last episode where we struggled to find a way to make a new spot on the map. I actually have emailed the developer and figured this out. Apparently in the current build, there is only a maximum of 12 islands you can have. And as you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So that's sort of the thing. That's not a permanent thing, it's just for this build. Apparently if you have more than 12 islands, the game starts lagging out and with their new update that comes in September, um, there should be a fix to that. But in the meantime, we're sort of at this weird impasse, right? I can't really progress too much more in the game with my current setup. You know, I just don't have enough islands to. So we could either A, slow down the episodes a little bit until we find out what we really gotta do next, you know, by you know getting that update. I don't even know if updates will like keep my save file or not. So you would have to wait and see. Or maybe I should just start a new save file. Maybe that's something. The only problem is it seems like there's only one save pile, the save file, not save pile, per game at the moment. So I would be clearing away this save file. So I would love to hear you guys' feedback on that. Would you rather me A, continue with this world and potentially not be able to make as much progress to really do too much more, or B, start a new save file? Uh, I would love to hear, so let me know. I mean, in the meantime, I'm sure we can still spend a couple more episodes here. Now, I don't know what this is. It looks like some kind of horn. Uh, this is a demon horn. Wow, okay, let's buy a couple of those. They're pretty cheap. Um, because I don't really need my money for other things. Now, I like I said, I don't know if when the game gets updated, that kind of stuff keeps with it or not. What is this again? This is Honest Delight. I don't remember what it does, so I'll leave it for now. But, uh. Yeah, there's plenty to do. Lots of people have been saying I should use a lot of materials. I've been getting lots of helpful feedback from you guys. It's just a matter of, I recorded a lot of these episodes ahead of schedule, so I actually didn't see any of them. Like, episode one through six, I think, were all recorded before I heard any feedback on the series, just because, you know, sometimes my schedule just works that way. Um, but, you know, now I've read through a lot of your guys' messages. I've gotten lots of awesome feedback that I'll definitely be trying to use. Um, a lot of it, you know, is just like, oh, make sure you use this material, make sure you get this item, and I'll be doing my best to do all of that. Speaking of which, you know, we gotta get more, we're gonna use some of our flowers. I mean, I don't know if I've donated any of those to the museum, but I don't think I have, so I should probably go and do that. I mean, how many flowers do I have until, I think I have like over 100, maybe even over 200. So, uh, yeah, we'll try to figure that out. But in the meantime, uh, is there really anything like I immediately have to do? Like we have like a healing potion maybe we can figure out. Like making new stuff is always good. It'll sort of help me figure out how to get farther in the game in one way or another. Let's get all the flowers and definitely donate whatever amount I need to donate of them. I know our character's a little hungry. Lots of people were encouraging me to cook my fish instead of eating it raw. So that's what I'll do from here on out. So where do the flowers go? They should be going in the foraging and they do. So uh, boop. Uh, oh, there's no button to just plop them all in, which is sort of silly. So we'll put in 50 of these, and then we're gonna do the same thing for the cactus, and then the other two things, that's where it gets scary, is I don't know really, well, I mean, I know where to get the nightshade, but the uh, lavender has been a big, tough one. So if I find lavender, I might be just tempted to spend all of my money on it. So I should probably make a lot of money so I have money available for whatever's in the shop. I got a lot of stuff caught as well. Let's get more fiber from you, Mr. Sheep. So yeah, there's lots to figure out, and I'll be trying to figure it all out but it might just be a little bit more limited. Um, but yeah, that's why, you know, it's a series where we play and we'll play after the updates and everything and that'll be a lot of fun as well. And it's just one step at a time. So, just taking a look at everything. I can't wait for, like if, ah, dude, are you serious? No, to the cow, oh my gosh, you stinker. Hmm. Well, there goes a cow, I don't like that one bit. Still don't really see the point in the seeds, but maybe we can make like animal feed. I don't really know what animal feed would be for. Like what animal are we feeding with that? I mean, maybe we can make an animal really happy. It would, you know, like poop out a golden egg. That's sort of something we're still looking for is a golden egg. I need to cook some uh, of the fish. So I might do that right now. Just go in here and make a cooked fish. I should actually make more than one. That'd be a smart idea. Let's just make 11 of them. But that way I'll have one coming out right now and I can just eat that one right away, get some energy back. So I don't know what I should do with this food, I guess I should just try to feed it to a chicken? Or maybe I could try to feed it to one of the big mean guys? Okay, so I can't do it to you. Okay, I got the fairy there, not really what I was trying to do. But maybe I could tame something. Like I could try just giving it to the cows. Oh, there you go, so you just made a bunch of poop. So I guess if I want express poop, I now know the way to get it. Make animal feed. 
Don't know if that's entirely worth it, though. <laughs> to be totally honest with you, that might not be worth it at all. Hmm. Oh, hello. Can I beat you up? There you go. I want to get that pumpkin. So we're going to quickly build farming bridge. Got it. Nice. See, in the meantime, I think, I think a lot of you are probably going to say you want me to stick with the save file. So in the meantime, I'm definitely going to build up what I can and to sort of make this save as effective as I can. Like just whatever materials we have, use those to the best of our ability. So for now, that means putting this stuff here. When it comes to our other materials, I know there's probably stuff I can plop in here if I had more of it, like leather and then thread might be good to have in there. And for this other stuff, like we have base materials in there, yeah. What about these two spots? Um, and this one, okay, so everything's pretty full at the moment. We'll have to make more chests. That's something we've been looking to doing for a while. It's just vaults are expensive, but we do have enough to make one right now. So might as well get to it. Guess I gotta make like a second row. I'll put it here. There we go, level 22 as well. I totally forget what we're gonna go for. But at this rate, we'll be able to get a little bit of everything in the me like eventually. I know we wanted to make plastic, and I feel like that's gonna be what smelting is for. I mean, things will work 25% faster, which is first off huge. I mean, plastic might be our first material we're not able to get yet. I'm sort of curious about what lighthouses will do though. Doubles light in the dark. I don't know. Faith we can't get inscription, unlocks inscription tables. Like I feel like this might be the easiest thing to access right away. So I'll try this one. Like I said, we're just gonna get more and more levels. I mean, it gets harder to get to each level, but not impossible. So, you know, like we'll, we'll get there. Got that chicken giving me an egg, that's nice. And we've yet to find some things like a, a dinosaur egg is one of the things we have yet to find. I don't know what it's gonna take to find one of those, but I'm up to the task, whatever it might be. Oh, I'm sorry, chicken. I didn't mean to do that, but you were sort of in the way. You were being really silly there. Okay, but yeah, there's a lot of roadblocks at the moment because of all this stuff, but we're just gonna keep working, keep figuring things out, and slowly but surely, we'll have made a nice situation for ourselves, right? Because if we can find out how to make crystal, that would be huge. So let's go to magical, and we do have an inscription table now, which is actually pretty affordable to make. I'm gonna sneak that down this way as well. So what in the world am I gonna put in this chest? Because this is probably one of the last chests I need for a while. I'm thinking I wanna put like fiber in there. Maybe just for right now, it could be like a little bit of a junk drawer. We'll have like flour in there, have these anchors. I should already have a spot for gold ore. Maybe that's what I should have done with this. Okay, got it. That works for now. We'll do that. And then uh, this. And then I guess these, <laughs> I mean, we could probably make another one, but this makes paper and then we have a moldy book. So I need four paper for that. Let's go ahead and make four paper. I'm really curious to see what that's gonna be like. Cause I really don't know what we need a book for. Maybe we could read the book and unlock something. That'd be cool. I would like that. Hmm, what about the cauldron? I mean, we could make a bomb. I think it's sort of a silly idea unless it can make me a lot of stuff. Like, like if it can get me, oh, is there, a... look at this, the tree is growing back. The, the one that we planted a seed on. So maybe seeds are worth it. I wish I could just like, you know, clear out an island. I mean, I guess I could. Like make some, like a, like a cotton patch somewhere. That might not be so bad of an idea. I, mean, I don't really need tree patches too much, you know? Cause there's trees just everywhere. But if I could lay out a bunch of cotton seeds or whatever they're called, fiber seeds, that might be a really good idea. If that tree is growing back, that's a good idea. Cause I know now that there's always gonna be a tree growing there over time, it'll eventually you know, pay itself forward. So I might go and do that in a moment. Let me just go ahead and pick up this ore, which I have a lot of ore as it is. It's always good to have more. Okay, so uh, get rid of that slime. Eight experience for that now, it's pretty nice. Get all of this stuff. Hi, piggy, are you a cow? I always get confused if they're biggies and cows, because I sort of look like a pig, but I mean, it is a cow, because you go up to it with a, uh, with a a bottle and it can make you milk. So it's definitely, definitely a cow. Anyways, um, whoa. Hey, what did I just do? Why did I just give me money? Did I just sell a fish by accident? I think I did. <laughs> um, we have animal food, peppers, plastic. It's so expensive. Let me just buy like five or as much as I can, which apparently that's it. Yeesh, that's expensive. Um, I am starting to run low on coal. So what we're gonna do is gonna do 20 gold ore. And then we're gonna, you know, once again, as long as I'm over 400 wood, I feel like that's reasonable. So if we could just make a couple more, be very good. And then crafting, if I could craft more stuff, 
That's always gonna be good, obviously. Oh, you know what? Maybe I don't wanna make too much threat at the moment. Instead, let's also, well, let's, let's make some coins, because I will be able to. We'll make 10, because I'm making, hey, dude, I wanted to give you the animal feed to see if you'd like me better, but a little too late for you, sorry. But I wanna try actually making the cotton seeds, and so it is cotton seeds, I was right about that. We're gonna use, we're just gonna use almost all of them. We're gonna use nine. I feel like that's what I'm gonna try to do. And look at that, way back up to 124 coins. How much plastic do I have in the moment? Four. How much do I need for a new pickaxe? I'll find out in a moment. Once all the, the, the coins are being done made. Okay. Um, do I have enough for another one? Boom, I think I need five. So having five is really good. So now that I have five in total, that'll make things easier. And I still have the sheep running around. They're gonna be giving me stuff, you know, so that's good. But I'm also going to have fiber growing out of the ground naturally, but n naturally. But if I have the seeds, gonna make things even easier and even more accessible. So just trying to make the best of both worlds. Okay, so with these seeds, where do I wanna dig them? I'm guessing we can make a little patch down this way. You got some more for me. We got the bomb as well. Okay, don't know where I wanna set that off, but I think this little corner right here would be a perfect spot. Um, like if I were just to do this, I think this is all you need to do. And then with these seeds, I can just plant them. I have a lot more than I thought I would. So maybe 20 was a little wasteful, but hey, we're gonna have a lot of fiber, which seems to be pretty important, so. So there really is farming in this game. Hi, little guy. Do you need anything? I don't think so. Look at that, a perfect amount. I still have more popping out of the chest, though. Maybe I could put some or in out of the windmill. Maybe I could put some in a chest. That wouldn't be so bad of an idea, right? I got plenty more coal with that. I'm gonna make some iron ore, like make 15 iron and then bricks. I need to make some bricks. We'll make like 20 bricks. I just need to make an abundance of stuff. It's just so hard to. Cause I, I gotta balance all that while running around and doing everything else. It's just like, oh my gosh, when does it end? I should have made my farming corner up here. There really isn't too much going on up here now with that the poor radish people are gone. Some people are saying that I get um, a thing, you know, like a relic, like I have our artifacts, but I haven't really seen any pop up, so maybe it's just because of how they got taken out. Like, they just sort of disappeared when I did that one scroll. Well, the game can be buggy. It's in closed beta, so that makes sense. Anyways, it's becoming daytime again. I definitely should have put the uh, the fiber up here. Oh well, we'll have room up here for something else, which will be great. Got some more coal there. Let me get this. Ooh, there's some good chunks of coal around here. All over the place, actually, so this will be really nice. Get that one. Get this one. And I start. I need to start making some royal materials again, but it's just so gosh darn expensive. That is just, I don't know. I mean, I know right now I'm sort of only smelting things when I need to and I need to change that, but it's just so difficult to. But we can hit things so fast. If I can get one more pickaxe upgrade, I'm gonna be able to just like run through the map and destroy everything before it has the time to like respawn, which would be crazy, but it's definitely gonna be possible. Cause I don't think things are gonna start burning with the next pickaxe, but I think they'll break so fast they won't need to burn. I mean, hopefully it'll keep that thing, but I don't think so. It seems like every pickaxe has something special about it. Okay, these are just normal rocks. Didn't Couldn't tell because they were behind the, the, the tree. Okay, because like right now I try to destroy things and while I'm destroying things, things are popping up on other parts of the islands. So that's sort of the big struggle at the moment. But I think soon enough that'll change. We still have the plastic in there if I wanted to get a couple more and I think I do. Um, One, two. I can only buy one right now. Probably for the best, actually. So get all of that, leave me alone. Oh my gosh, it's everywhere. You have an egg, you have a fish, or something. Get rid of this guy. I mean, we're, we're sort of storming through level 22 pretty decently quick. Let's break this gold. Got it, got it. I gotta activate the obelisk again, but I really don't think it does much, unfortunately. Like, I think that's another thing, like a feature that doesn't actually fully work, which is why I really hope that this game updates. Um, we get to keep our save. No, I'm sorry, chicken. Because then I'll be able to check all that stuff out and see if it works properly, and that'll be pretty cool. You have some fiber. Oh, look at that already. Now, if I leave these spots be, maybe they'll start regrowing stuff. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that was like a total mistake. I guess we'll find out at some point. I mean, I'm getting a lot of fiber for it, but I swear I didn't replace this tree, but maybe I did. Um, oh, what happened? I should eat. Oh no, I hurt myself there because I was, whoopsies. Okay, gotta be careful of that. 
need to cook more fish in a moment, so let's grab whatever I can. So we'll just have to let that corner be and see if it regrows us more fiber. But I mean, I think that it might be giving us a return. I don't know how much fiber we have at the moment, but I feel like we gained a good chunk there. Get out of here, get, be gone. I don't wanna deal with you. So maybe I'm just like wrong all the time. I usually am, I make a lot of mistakes with a lot of things. But I keep trying and that's what's important. Let's do 15 there. And then we will just make, I need to make royal steel, but I need more steel for that. So we'll make nine steel because that's what I can manage at the moment. We're almost done with our coal. That's why the next level up, if I can make faster things, like maybe that'd be really good because then I can just make all this stuff faster and that makes it just a bit more er, accessible, not acceptable. Okay. Well, in the meantime, let's just keep digging, keep finding stuff, because that's helpful. It'd be cool if I, when I donated stuff to museums, it would give me experience, but it doesn't really. So what other things can I check out at the moment? Did I ever make anything with the thing down this way? I think I did. Uh, this, what did I make? I made paper. Have I made all the paper? I guess I, could, I did, so we could do that. And while that's doing its thing, I'm gonna go ahead and make more thread with all of our fiber now. We'll just make 15 more. I see a bit more up this way, and then get rid of this dude. Get him gone. And now that this is open, wrong button, uh, I can make the crystal pickaxe, right? If I had more crystals. We're at the most important part of the crystal pickaxe, the crystals. I accidentally made fruit salad. That's okay. Let's try the bomb here. Oh my, oh my, run. Oh, look at that. And a bunch of experience too. That's actually pretty cool. Energy's low, that's fine. I'll, I'll cook up more fish now. I know, you're exhausted. Actually, let's just, can I eat the, I could eat the fruit salad. I don't know, probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> make more fish. I mean, I could make f bread as well. Let's try making bread. I'll make 10 of them. And then the coal, I'll get more coal because we've gotten plenty more wood now. All the way up until we have 88. And just constantly be making coal. Like, I feel like that'd be a great idea. I canceled it, gosh darn it. I press all the wrong buttons all the time. It's just what I do. <laughs> okay, got it. Very nice, so lots of cool stuff. Let's check out the bread. The bread gives 24 energy. I don't know if that's better than fish, but you know, since I had the material anyways, another anchor. I need to start selling those. I don't think I need them. So I'm gonna sell this anchor. We're just gonna get up this way, because they sell for a good price. Last time I checked, oh, I actually gotta get it out of the thing. Okay, well then I'll do it later. <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to be lazy. There's just so much I have to do that's in front of my face that I should leave the stuff that's tucked away in the chests for later. Because you can't really be lazy in this game. Like, it's just not possible. I can't help it. I gotta constantly be doing things. Let's try to rebuild our flower stock as well, because we've been using a couple flowers. You know, for the donations and stuff. I really wanna find this guy's dinosaur egg. Like, that'd be really cool. Okay, his energy is low again, so we can eat another bread. The bread definitely does not give as much as the fish, so I think I'm just gonna go and get fish soon. Get this guy out of here. He dropped another, uh, like, relic of some sort, which is good. You have an egg for me, thank you. Let's bring up all this stuff. I don't think there's a way to break bridges either, which is a little concerning. I mean, maybe there is, I just haven't like unlocked it or something. So there's no more cotton growing out of this corner. So maybe that's a bad idea, but we did get the moldy book. XP gained increased by 15%. Whoa, slimy tome. Four more paper. You got it, chief. We're making more paper. Okay. Well, that is definitely worth my while, getting more levels. And I feel like I know there's been a lot of people you know, recommending stuff, and I really do appreciate it, but there is definitely a charm to this game, figuring some things out on your own, and that's been a lot of fun for me. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that, I'm so sorry, sheep. I'm so sorry. It really is like playing Minecraft for the first time. You know, one thing, making all the awful mistakes. I make a lot of mistakes in Minecraft all the time, no matter how much I play it. But exploring and learning Minecraft for the first time was such a unique gaming experience for me, and I think it was for a lot of people. I'm really having that with Forager so far. It's just like this aha moment with everything, just figuring it all out piece by piece. And that is really, really cool. Okay, so you're exhausted. I can fix that. So now I have 15% energy collection. Oh, I gotta get just getting more, or not energy, experience. So that's just great, you know? Yeah, there's definitely not anything more growing out, growing out of here. But I think I still earned more than I lost with the seeds. So I know the foraging obelisk, yada yada. So, slimy tomb. Let's try that one out. 
That is so cool. I'm so excited now. Because now we're getting plus four experience for the flowers. That's really huge, because we get so many of those. It's like even one experience is gonna make a big difference. Um, speaking of which, let's try to get a lot more than one experience. So there's lots to get around here. Get that egg. So the, a lot of the stuff is cooked through what it needs to cook through. So we'll just go ahead and make a little bit more coal. Make like 20 more brick. Because I have now like over 100 coal. That's gonna change soon enough. Um, iron ingot, we're gonna go ahead and make like a lot of these. Because I, I guess, did I ever make steel? No, because I needed more of everything else. So let me check the shop. No crystal. We do have like a, some other stuff, like the, the livestock thing again, right? Let's buy this, I'm, I'm curious. Is this the livestock one? Wizard scroll, consumable. I don't know. I think last time this made me have things all over the place. But if I could donate this, that'd also be pretty helpful. Got another anchor. I'm gonna try selling the anchors right now. If I could get some extra cash from that, that'd be really big. So wherever the anchors are, I'm gonna try to find that, make it work. I think it's in my junk drawer, it is. Okay, so I'm gonna sell three of these. Perfect. So let's go to the store and first off sell them. I mean, it doesn't tell you the price in the menu, which is sort of a problem. But uh, 200 each, so I should be able to sell these three. One, two, three, and that gives me a ton of cash because I don't get just 300 each because I have like a multiplier on at this point from all the stuff we've earned. That's a lot better. I mean, I don't know if I want another wizard scroll. Like, we'll buy one for us and then another one for the, the thing if I need it. Because I think I do. For the, uh, what's it called? You know, the, the museum. So we'll try this out in just a moment. There's so much stuff to dig through over here. Got it, and if we're gonna go in the museum, we should probably get the cactus stuff as well. You are exhausted. And then it's just about waiting for there to be crystals. If we can find crystals in there, we'll be fine. Cause I haven't found a crystal naturally in the game yet. I've only bought one from the shop out of curiosity, but I'm thinking it's not in any of our current islands. So I cannot wait for that update, but I don't think I could post an episode a day of our current 12 islands. You know, we would have to wait and see. So I think our slimy book should be done. So we should go ahead and check that out. It seems to follow the same progression as like the weapons. And we got slimy tome, nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and get more fiber out of you. I think this fiber growing there was sort of just a coincidence. We do got $60 out of this bank, which is really nice. I don't know if I should take it just yet. I don't know if it's like one of those things where the more money it has, the more money it gains, like sort of in an interest kind of way, like an actual bank. But I don't know. So, we did get it. I didn't actually read how much experience more it gave me because I was just sort of like moving on to the next thing. Royal clothing we would need. That's for the Necronomicon. So for right now, let's just make three more of those. I would really like, cause like experience is sort of the key to everything. We can't really expand much more with our abilities if we don't have the abilities. So that's something to focus on. And I think it's something we will sort of rush to if I can make royal clothing now, which I should be able to for the most part. I might wanna make a, a second sewing station somewhere. Okay, oh, I'm so sorry, chicken. I didn't mean to do that. Every time. It's hanging out in the wrong spots. I need to make more fish. Like a ton more fish. Whatever I have of fish, I wanna cook it. So let's get up this way. Got two more fish, perfect. And then, if that's 22 fish, I'm cooking 22 fish. Like, that's just sort of the bottom line. And then we got more coal. I'm gonna cook this 19 coal. I'm gonna use whatever bread I have left and just chop down trees. Only trees, one. And if I just hit them twice, remember that that's going to be enough to actually get rid of them. The uh, fire will do the rest. Also, with my wood, I should probably get that just so it's easier. So I got that, one, two, three. Also get some of this stuff. I know your energy is low. I just need to hold on for a little bit longer, buddy. Okay, well he's not gonna hold on, he's gonna keep blabbing about it. So I got some fish now. Perfect. I'm pretty sure that gives more energy. Well I had these fairies, I could have gotten them. I'm being silly. Hello Mr. Sheep, you got more fiber for me, excellent. So I should, well how much paper? I have four paper already. So I don't wanna make too much more than I have to. I sort of wanna try a healing potion. So I would need to make a bottle. So let's make a bottle while we can with uh. I need two, two lavender. Gotta remember that one as well. Like there's like, huge to-do list. Huge, huge, huge to-do list. In the meantime, 
I got some materials, let's make some thread. Sounds good to me. Oh, I do have a second one of these. I would need more leather, so let's make a lot more leather because I do have the thread for that, or at least a decent amount of thread to keep doing it. No, 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 I didn't mean to do that, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh geez, this is a total mess. But if I could just get another book, that might be all I need to uh, get a lot of experience pouring in. Because right now it's like, it's still only like plus one or two experience per thing, but that percentage stacks more and more the more we go, you know? So that's what I'm sort of looking towards. Because if I could just like run through and break everything and then run through again to collect it, I feel like that's gonna be pretty good. Especially if I can get crystal for a better pickaxe. So the next time I go by the shop, I need to check that out. Because the stuff doesn't seem to disappear once I do that, you know? That's sort of the best part of it, about it. No, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. It just happens, it just happens. Luckily they seem to respawn at a fair rate. I could actually try this. Yeah, plenty more. Nice, okay, so let's go ahead and get a bunch of stuff. And I'm gonna definitely put the other one in the museum if I can. Cause look at all the fiber we're getting now. Like that's sort of worth the money. I would have just straight up bought fiber. So having sh plenty more sheep that are gonna give us plenty more fiber is a very fair trade. Okay, there's a lot of sheep now, like a ton of them. Look at that. Okay, so go to the shop, and we have, what are these? These some kind of seeds. We'll go ahead and buy five of them. And there's more bread, but I don't wanna buy bread. Hmm. We could make some mayo. What else are we doing with these eggs, you know? So let's make like 20 mayo. That might be just some easy food to have. Okay, destroy this stuff as much as possible. You are hungry, one, two, three. Got it. So I can actually just one hit the cacti and they should burn away. That's good to keep in mind. So like one hit you, move this way, grab all this. One, two, one, two, then grab it. And I'm just getting experience from everywhere, it's beautiful. I love this game, it's great. <laughs> Okay, so don't know how we're doing in fiber, 22 in total, that's okay. Hmm. You know what, I'm gonna cash this in, see what we got. Back up the 2,000 now, so that's pretty good. Is there anything else I haven't built yet that I need to build? I really, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, so we've got everything we can build so far built. Probably need to expand with more, but for that I'd probably need more steel. I'm using the steel for something else, just thing after thing after thing. Okay, so. Get as much material for, as I can from you guys because then I can make more leather. We got plenty of like the leather, the hide. I just need more fiber. So making more of this is sort of key to our success at the moment. So I'm using all of it. But with all these sheep, it's gonna be a lot easier to maintain. Gotta make sure I don't accidentally destroy them. Cause that would just be bad. And it's something I sort of do often. <laughs> okay. We're getting lots of material so far in today's episode. I love you know, finding out new stuff about the game, so it's great that we found out about the books, the tomes, because those have been wickedly helpful. So I do have enough now to try for the, 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 the bugs. I know that's something we were looking into for the healing potion, just to sort of try that out and have one extra item. I and mean, I might even just donate that. Okay, got some of that stuff. 13 experience for the, the ore rocks now, it's pretty crazy. You guys should have some fiber for me. Some of you do, some of you do not. Okay, well it's pretty better, it's a lot better than nothing. I'll take what I can get. No, leave the, no, leave them alone! I'm sorry! You guys really just need your own little pen. If I can make fences, that'd be perfect. Okay, in the meantime, I'm gonna just destroy everything on this island so we don't have to go here very often. That'd probably be the nicest thing. Definitely get the nightshades. Okay, now that was giving more experience, giving four, but that's because of the experience addition we had from the tomes. That's nice to have. 11 experience for the uh, little things. The uh, the gravestone. So like, there's like stuff happening all over the place that's pretty good. Uh, farming, we're just gonna go ahead and like bridge this area out a little bit. Just like that, that's pretty good. Energy is low, well luckily we have a ton of fish. All right, perfect stuff. So this island is basically totally cleared out. Now it is, got rid of that dude. Do you have any fiber for me? You don't, that's okay, it happens. So steel, I would need more gold because I used all my golden coins. So make a ton more gold with whatever I have. So let's just make like 30 gold, like make a ton of it. And then remember whatever I have over 400 wood, I'm just gonna dump into making coal constantly. I wish we get experience for for uh, smithing and stuff. It would think you would, but you just don't. 
let's go ahead and check out the mayo. The mayo does restore 32 energy, so that might be my next go-to food for a little bit as I have so many eggs. So like mayo and fish, doesn't sound like the most delicious of combos. Uh, but, you know, if it's what I got to work with, you know, survival of the fittest out here in these islands, then that's what we gotta go for. Okay, so let's go ahead and destroy some of this stuff as well. We got a ruby just chilling out over here on the floor. Let's change that up. The experience is just pouring in. I mean, the cacti don't seem to give too much experience now. I think there was only two experience. Maybe I read that wrong. I'm pretty sure that's what I said. Let's pick these guys up. That gave a good chunk, chunk of experience now. That was nice. Getting closer and closer to level 23, like about a thousand away now, which seeing how we got through 2,780, even more than that in today's episode, that isn't so bad. Okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the slime. I'm just trying to cash in the easy experience right now. Like I can pick up the materials later, you know? Can make a couple more thread, and I can make a couple more leather. Well, actually, I could make royal clothing now. Not, not a lot, because I need more thread. So I can make three royal clothing at the moment. Don't know how many, like I wish I would tell you also, that's another big thing. If I could find out how much material I have when I'm crafting it, like obviously it tells me how much stone I have, how much coal I have, but it doesn't tell me how much brick I currently have, and I feel like that's a big problem. So it seems like the most thing I need is gold, so it's a good thing I'm making a bunch of it. The steel will be helpful. And then going back down this way, what do I need again? I need the royal, I only need one, so we're definitely gonna be able to make that in today's episode. Tons of tome, tomes, not tombs. Not like the uh, skeleton tomb we went into. More like a tome, it's a book. Full of information, I guess. I don't really know what the proper definition is of a tome is. There we go, so we got that. With that cauldron, we can now make a healing potion. See, that's worth it at all. It might not be, it might be like total baloney. Because I only have two hearts anyways. Plenty of things restore those hearts. But I might as well check it out. Okay, so there's a pumpkin grown over here, which is pretty cool. Hmm. All right, so we already got the one royal material, the royal clothing, so let's go ahead and make an Necronomicon. Get all of this stuff. Thank you. And let's check out the museum. I feel like I, I need to sort of like get a second look at everything here. Because there's some stuff I'm having a struggle getting. Like, it's really the nightshades and the lavender. If I could, I, want, I really want to see what that ends up being, you know? And for these, I haven't seen butterflies. I have seen, of course, fairies, but I'm trying to hold on to those. So if I could just buy the five butterflies in a jar whenever I find those, that'd probably be perfect. Do I have any? Can I donate cooked fish? I can't. I can donate cooked bread, though. So that's probably something I want to try at some point. Alchemy, I just haven't tried any of, so I got to try that soon. Archaeology is just like, I haven't found any of this, so I really don't know what the idea is there. For these, they're just so hard to get. I'd rather keep with what I have. And then finally, mining. Um, sort of the same thing with this one. I'll keep it in mind, but let's check out the shop. The shop must have some new stuff. Oh, do you have any more? No, okay. So I am so greedy, I don't mean to push on you all the time. No, chicken, why did you run into my pickaxe? That is not cool. Hmm. Okay. Lots of stuff all over the place. Like I don't even care about picking it up at the moment. Okay, yeah, go ahead and grab that. We got a good chunk of experience out of it. We got the tomb, right? Or is it, ooh, how long, that takes a while. Holy cow. So we got the healing potion though. And if we take a look at that, one thing, how does it sell for? It's right here. 55, not bad, plus 96 energy. So like it's like a full restore. And then Anna's Delight, which I, I keep forgetting what it does. And I don't really have any other options for that, so. I mean, really, the bombs are nice if you want like a good time-saving measure. But I just don't feel like it's very responsible to keep doing. So what about you guys? You guys need lavender for all of this. But it's good to keep making royal clothing however much I can, which right now is only two more. And then I can hopefully make more of this. That's nice. Okay, sir, when did you get there? I don't know. But I have more cotton seeds I should be planting. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, get all this stuff. See, let's go ahead and make a little bit of a farming gig up on the top this time. Like maybe that'll just be smarter. I mean, there's a lot of livestock we have around here, like that, so maybe it's totally not worth doing. Maybe it is good to keep on the bottom left because there's just too much to risk here. Like this poor little, I was gonna call him a pig. I don't know why I wanna call him a pig now. Poor little cow. I don't want him to get hurt, but he's getting hurt around here. 
because, you know, he's running into my pickaxe! Come on! Oh, that's so lame. Get rid of all this stuff. Just get it gone, I don't wanna see it. Oh boy. Yeah, this game, it just, it keeps going and going and never stops. But I do appreciate all the fanfare for it. I wanna, you know, play a lot more. I feel like I should spend a lot of my wood. You know, I, I always keep over 400, right? So, I mean, I have 424 at the moment. I feel like I just need to make things easier to traverse. So if I could just like fill out this whole thing, one thing, it'll be seven experience each for these. So that's a decent way to earn up a couple hundred experience. Well, maybe not a couple hundred, but like a good chunk of it. There we go. That'll just make things easier to get over there. If I could just make everything like a giant bridge, it'll be at least some easy experience. So yeah, before, oh, 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 let's get this. Like I said before though, let me know, it's 45%. I think that's in total. Like it's 15 and then it was 30 and then it was 45. I think it's just like 50% every book. So isn't that crazy? Um, but like I said before, let me know if you think I should restart the save file or not. Fiberglass. How in the world do I make fiberglass? It has to be something on the top left here. Like maybe braziers do that. Masonry still has me really curious. There's just a never ending list. I wanna get one of these guys, 20 experience now. Isn't that crazy? Those guys dropped 14. No, 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 I just got another sheep. Gosh darn it. I feel very silly. Okay, dude, I blame you. Okay, so there's lots of stuff going on here. One, two. These things are, are still only giving me, well no, I think they were giving me, no, they were giving me four experience before. But it's interesting that some things still aren't coughing up as much experience as I'd like. But hopefully that's just stuff that figures itself out because I don't want to figure it out. But we're almost there. I definitely am getting to level 23 in today's episode. What am I gonna spend that level up on? There's too many options, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm tempted to make just faster smithing, but I feel like that's a little bit of a silly choice if that's all it gets me, you know? I feel like I need to spend that. Like, no, I was clearly trying to hit this flower. Jeez Louise. So is there anywhere to donate this other one that I got? I don't think so, but it would be in the farming corner, right? And it's not here, so I guess it's not really something I can do. So I'll probably just use this one whenever I need it. But that's not now, don't use it in here. <laughs> Maybe that'd be good, having a bunch of sheep running around in there. Okay, well I probably shouldn't have taken that, but I did. I'm gonna go ahead and in this corner, just dig a bunch of stuff. Well that's six, so if I do seven, seven, eight, that should be good. I like how you don't have to water it or anything like that. Whoa, whoa, I just planted more than one in the same spot. Wait, is that something you can do? Well, that's a bit of an oversight. That's a little concerning. I would to be way more careful then, because I'm pretty sure it's still only gonna lead to one piece of fiber. I mean, maybe not though. Maybe I'll just keep growing more and more after. Are these pepper seeds? Is that what I bought? Cool, okay. Dude, you just spawned right in front of me and you're gonna spawn out right in front of me. Thank you. Um, Place this. There we go. So the glacial scriptures are gonna take me forever to get, but I'm gonna try to figure that out. Okay, I just, you can just activate this over and over again. So what's the point of there being a timer? Oh no, I can't activate it anymore. Weird, that is very odd. Okay, so pick up whatever was caught and start getting back to making some stuff. I definitely need more wood before I make any more coal, but in the meantime, should have at least 10, yep, I got 10. And then we have over 150 coal. So we should be fine with like making another 20 and then making um, definitely more iron. Like making another 20 here. And if I have, not making a coin. Definitely not making that at the moment. So I still, oh, let me check the shop actually, real quick, real quick. And also something, oh, we got ourselves, well this is royal steel, this is not fiberglass. This though, is this cooked meat? That's just cooked meat, okay. Sort of looked a little different. This is just, this is not fiberglass, this is um, royal steel, which I don't want, I can make royal steel, so I'd rather leave it, like if I take a look. Royal steel, I can make it. It's just not easy for me to. So let's go ahead and make 10 steel, and then, like, I, think, I don't think it's worth buying it, because I don't even be able to buy like three or four, yeah, just three of them before I'm out of cash. That does not sound worth it at all. I need a lot more gold. So we're gonna make like, 30 coal worth, which is 30 gold, so that'll be good. Can we get this dude out of here, thank you. Okay, so let's try to do this all, see what we can do. 
seem to be doing okay. Got that coal over there. Oh, there's lots of stuff in this corner. See, this is where it might be useful to have a bomb. I just don't know if it's actually getting me more materials than it's losing. Uh, but there we go, we got ourselves a level up, which is really nice, and I'll be gladly taking that in just a second. Nice. I am hungry. I am too, don't worry. We're, we're gonna go through this together. We're both very, very hungry. Okay, got that. And, uh, yeah, things are going okay. I mean, it could be going better if I had more islands, but in the meantime. Oh yeah, get rid of that guy. I would really like to find crystal in the shop, but I just don't know if that's gonna happen again. If it did, it would be perfect, you know? That would be really good. Does that sheep have more fiber for me? You do, nice. Tons of stuff over this way. I wish you had more to say. The real treasure is the adventure we, uh, or of the, in this adventure, the friends we find along the way. Well, I hope you're my friend. Because if so, that'd make me feel a whole lot better about it, because I haven't made much other friends. I, mean, I guess the wizard, maybe when I get him his dinosaur egg. Okay, I, I, I thought this cow was like some kind of weird being, just because it was so dark over here. Get more fiber, destroy some of this stuff. None of it made a skeleton. I wish I could go back into the skeleton cave. Like, that'd be pretty fun. Just being able to dip into there whenever I want. That would definitely give me an extra thing to spend my time on. Okay, well, if we can do one more thing, it's definitely gonna be uh, skill points, so. I'm gonna do that. Skill points, 22 out of 64. I mean, we can't get all of those. Let's do masonry. Let's find out what brazers are. Structures cost 25% less stone and brick, apparently. And then we have ballistics amongst ballistas. Bows shoot triple arrows, which I can't, like isn't implemented. And unlocks flower press, the machinery, um, which we can't do, it's not implemented. So lots of stuff to do. Carpentry is probably worth doing at some point. And then we gotta work on the right side of stuff some more which is what we'll worry about next episode. Look at all this stuff. Okay, no, I destroyed another sheep. That's a pain. All right, well, I'm gonna get all this ore in the desert real quick. And, uh, oh, it's daytime. But that, I don't know if I actually finished my sentence with that one. Um, a lot of you were actually giving an interesting criticism. Of course, the game being open beta, it's still, working on it, but there's really no reason for there be to be a nighttime so far, except for the little fairy that shows up. Nothing else happens that's unique to the nighttime. So hopefully that's something that's eventually sort of padded out and we get more stuff going on at night. I mean, personally, I don't need there to be like, oh, more, more enemies to fight. I mean, I, I have that plenty in Minecraft, so I don't really need that here, but maybe there could be like certain things that just pop up only at nighttime that makes it a little bit more engaging, can they get a little bit more time sensitive. I mean, I think there's already a lot of time sensitive stuff. I mean, I guess lack thereof in the way that everything just sort of stays where it is but I always feel pressure to do more things faster. Honestly, it mixes survival with like a clicker game in that way. It's so fast paced and constantly expanding. It's just so addictive. Go ahead and grab that. I'll go ahead and pick you up. You give me 20 experience, which is just so nice. We're definitely not getting level 24 in today's episode. That's that, that's what we're going to do the next episode. But I'll make as much of a dent in it as I can today. Does the chicken have another egg? You do. Oh, and you, I didn't know the chickens can make manure. I've never seen that happen before. I saw that dude, get him out of here, get gone. Jeez, dude, that hurt. Got it, okay. Whew, anything new? Still no, I don't know how long it takes for new stuff to pop up, I've never really given it too much attention until now. I do need to make like more flour, I suppose. So let's get the windmill back working. Um, flour, put this wheat to work, cause I have a, a good chunk of wheat that I never use. More fiber, and I should have uh, plants in the bottom left that I should go and get as well. Um, get that slime. So I can just leave this stuff for now. Yeah, get all this pepper. And look at those five experience each, which is really nice. Oh, they, they, they're sort of on top of each other. You see that? Like I hit one and another one pops up. So I guess if we really, ooh, 5,000 items in our inventory, that's pretty good. I wish I would give us experience or something, just getting achievements done. But um, yeah, that's sort of a big deal. Um. I could actually confine all of our crops to one space. That'd actually be really helpful. Maybe we could do that at some point. <laughs> I don't wanna risk losing stuff though, you know? But now I should have a lot more fiber. We have 49 in total, which is nice. Huh. I'm just sort of figuring out what we wanna do next. Like I can take, take a look now at our new thing. It was the brazier, 
And I don't know even what a brazier does, but it's four stone and two coal, which is actually really, really cheap. Is it just a torch? Is it just a torch? Yeah, it's just a torch. Well, I mean, I guess that helps. I'm a little disappointed. I, I guess I should have researched a little bit what a brazier was. Because I wasn't that I was thinking. Oh, it's gonna be something that can help me make plastic. <laughs> All right, well, how foolish was I to think such a thing? Maybe the shop's restored now. Hey, it is, what is this potion? Um, we're gonna find out. 250 isn't too bad for a random potion to mystery. It's a greedy mixture. Ooh, wonder if I can get more stuff out of stuff for like a short amount of time. I feel like it'd be great to do if I actually had alchemy unlocked, so I should probably unlock alchemy too. No sheep, I don't wanna beat you up. I'm running out of sheep, because I keep accidentally beating them up because they run into my pickaxe. It's insanity. Okay, got some of this. But yeah, I'm just you know still trying to figure things out with how we wanna continue the series if we wanna start a new save file. I'm pretty sure the achievements don't follow over, so it would be like starting completely fresh. I don't know if that's what we wanna do. But I don't know if I could you know play an episode a day for an entire month while we're just waiting for more islands. You know, I feel like that'd be a little much, so. I don't know, well, I, I wanna hear your guys' feedback for sure. I keep forgetting to eat. It's bad, not good for me. Okay. Well, there's all that going on. I might wanna go ahead and try to donate this potion while I have the chance so I don't forget later. So it should be in the alchemy slot. I just need to donate one of them. So actually, I can also do that for this. So let's do that, one of them, and then can I donate one of these? I gotta donate five of those. Okay, well, I got something to work on. That'll be pretty good. And then farming is still eluding me. There's so much I just need the shop to give me to make progress, it's sort of insane. That's probably readily available in some areas. It's like abundance of it, you know? That's interesting, just how it works out that way. So in the meantime, you know what I gotta do? I gotta keep going to the shop. I gotta get these nightshades when they're available, which isn't all that often. Just work on that. Hi sheep, do you have more fiber for me? You do, thank you. Got this one, no skeleton in that one. And then I could also make some stuff here. I mean, now that I have some stuff, yeah, for sure. So I could make four more sushi I think I need. And then for this, how much more royal clothing? I can make four. I mean, I need to make royal steel as well. So maybe I could work on that. I can make a lot of royal steel right now. This is about the most, and after that, I'm out of amethysts and stuff, so hopefully it's worth my while. It typically is. That's gonna make it a little bit difficult from here on out. There's some overlapping music going on right now, which is a little weird. That sort of happens a lot in this game. Luckily, all the songs are so good, it's like listening to two great, great tracks at once, right? Sort of. Not entirely, but we can pretend. Yeah, the cacti only give two experience, so you really only wanna bother hitting them once. Okay, there we go, got some of that stuff. Dig this up, it's another bone. We got a ton of bones at this point too. I would hope that that would give us something at some point. But at this rate, I don't know. We are getting a lot of fairies. I might wanna start putting them. Oh, I just beat up a poor innocent animal. I can't even see you, it's not fair. Ay ay ay. I definitely need more wood. We're only now passing 400, so if I could just get some of this, that'd be great. Got it. Okay. That was pretty good. Lots of stuff over here. We're finally building up our fiber again. There used to be a point we had like an abundance of fiber. I was like, oh yeah, I can donate 50 of it. I was like, I'm not gonna need a ton of it later on. I needed a ton of it later on, what do you know? Can I break this flower, please? Thank you. Yeah, another one of these guys showed up. The fairies just keep showing up over and over again, so might be smart to you know deal with that sooner than later. Get the royal steel and then make like, let's make like 15 glass. That'll be pretty good. And we got the three sushi, I can donate that. Got tons of chickens. One of these days, these chickens are gonna give me a golden egg and I'm just gonna rejoice. Oh no! I don't mean to do that, I promise. Hmm. So dis disappointing when I end up doing that. Okay, his energy is low, so I gotta be careful. Eat more fish. Get some gold. No, come on, don't be silly. And then save time again. Okay, so I don't know if there's too much more I can do today while keeping it interesting, so I might start wrapping it up soon. 
and then come back again when I have a bit more energy. Because like I said, I actually am really hungry right now. But I wanted to record a lot today because I haven't been feeling well the last couple of days and I finally felt well enough to record today. That's why I sort of had to miss a day or two of Forager. People really didn't like that, so now I'm back. Don't you worry. Uh, Go ahead and do that. Anything new? No. So I could just buy the bread, but I'd rather not. I'd rather just make five more bread, so five for the uh, museum. Got some more glass being made. With that, I can go here. No, 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 not here, but there. And I can make two. Better than nothing, that's for sure. Okay, well there's lots and lots going on. Let me go to the museum real quick. Well, first off, let me do this. Got another egg. I just feel bad, because like, it feels like nothing of crazy significance has happened in today's episode. I mean, I got the tome, which was pretty cool. But beyond that, like I feel like we're really stagnating without the extra islands, and that's just sort of a shame. Okay, cooking. So I can put in my first cooking thing. One, two, three, four. And then I should have one bread. I'll put in the other four soon when I have the opportunity, which should be in a couple moments when they're done cooking. Yeah, that just makes me feel bad, you know? I want to make sure that there's something new and exciting for you guys to see each episode, but it's hard to do that, of course. Let's make four paper now, so that's out of the way. Maybe I'll make like, I mean, it does use iron ingots, which I don't like too much, but I guess it's out of everything, that's the one we had the most of. So we do have some bottles now, which I think I'm gonna use on the fairies. You can also sell the bottled fairies, but I don't think that's a very nice idea. How much wood do I have? I have over 400, so I could start clearing out this area a little bit too. This is giving me eight experience now, which is really nice. Eat more fish. I definitely need to make more fish soon. I just, it stinks that the automation hasn't been added to the game yet, because I really, really want to see more automation in this game. Because I feel like that's sort of the most satisfying way to uh, make progress is definitely, definitely through expedition, or not expedition, uh, automation. That's gonna just make it so much easier to do everything. Like when I know things are just getting done for me. Oh no, the chicken. Not what I wanted. So we could make cheese if we had bottled milk, which I might do soon. So it's good to make a lot more bottles. I just need coal and sand for that. I have plenty of sand, I don't have a lot of coal. Let's go ahead and grab you. I know I probably need these fairies at some point, but I also need them for this, so I'm just trying to find a mixture that's gonna make everything good. Okay, so I wanna use the bomb up here, but I do not want the sheep to get hurt. So I might just wait for like an abundance of stuff to like show up over here and then use the bombs. But for right now, I just gotta be extra careful I don't accidentally like throw it down, because that's definitely something I would end up doing. Okay, so yeah, I mean, Royal Steel is good. I have 14 of them now, and that's gonna be very, very helpful for a ton of things. Especially, I mean, I guess this stuff, we only need normal seal, or not seal, steel. Jeez. So that's all the, the Royal Steel I made at the moment, but I can make more normal steel, just like this. Very good, very, very good. Okay, well, at this rate, I think that's just about where we're gonna finish it up for today's, I guess we'll do 10 more episodes. Uh, not 10 more episodes, 10 more minutes. You guys have been asking for longer, like hour long episodes. I'll try that, because I can't do two episodes a day. Some people are even asking that, I just, I don't have the time. I'm trying my best to make everybody happy, because I don't just have fans of Forager, but of plenty of other series as well. Ooh. Okay. One of these days, we're gonna find a dinosaur egg and a golden egg. Maybe both in the same episode. That'd be a lucky episode. Okay, got all of this going on. And that should be pretty good with all of that. Hmm, it's such a relaxing game too. It's like both relaxing and stressful, what do you know? Cause like the cotton, that's sort of the thing, you need three fiber, but it really only gives you three fiber. Like that's sort of the really, I mean, how many does it make? Like how many cotton seeds does it make? Like that's sort of the thing I'm not figuring out here. Is it literally making, uh, burped, I'm sorry. Is it literally making one seed? If it's making one seed, that's not really worth it at the end. But maybe it makes four seeds. Okay, it doesn't really say that anywhere. That's the weird part. So I guess that really is worth it then, if we can get that many seeds. So we're gonna go ahead and try that out and just try to make a really like exponential amount of fiber. Like that's what's gonna be really helpful. Can I get over there? Really quickly. Farming, bridge, boop, boop, boop. Perfect. I mean, we are actually getting pretty close to level 24, but we're not doing it today. I'm not even halfway there. Like we would need another 200 or so experience just to get halfway. 
but it ain't happening. I just wanna push the video to be over an hour just because you guys request it. I mean, I'm trying to do reasonable stuff in that time. I'm just trying to dawdle around like, yep, the video's an hour, see ya. I'm gonna do real stuff with it. I'm gonna use my one of my bottles here. Wait, that, that, I didn't activate the fairy there. No, come on, you guys, you're ruining everything. Ugh, that, that bottle didn't grab the fairy. Have I gotten any fairies in a bottle or have I just been activating all of them? I think I'm a massive dingus and I haven't actually been activating any of them. Wow, okay. Well, that's silly. Okay, no, I've had to. No way. Maybe I've already, well, they're not in my inventory, so if I didn't donate them, which I'm pretty sure I didn't, I've just been activating fairies when I don't need them. Instead of putting them in the bottle. I'm very silly, but let me double check. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Well, I have two in there now, which is better. I need to get one more bottle and three more fairies, but that's a hard combo to make out. Because uh, the fairies don't pop up too much, especially when I'm just using them for no reason. So for now, I need two more bottles, and then I need a ton more, I mean, actually, ah, well, that it should be fine. Shouldn't need too much more fiber because I should have got a huge return on the seeds. Yeah, we have 44 seeds, oh, we're fine. So I could try that multiple seeds in one spot thing and see if it works any better. I also don't know if that's a good idea whatsoever. Um, I wish I could just like plant things on bridges because I don't have too much more space. I also don't understand what the point of the uh, torches are at the moment, the braziers, because, I mean, at the moment, at the time being, light doesn't seem to positively or negatively affect anything. Maybe it'll make these crops grow quicker or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I don't know why I'm counting. It doesn't really change much. And I got plenty more space for plenty more. So I, I, I think I'm just gonna do that. I don't wanna risk stacking them and that being like a total waste. Maybe if we'll, I'll do like five of them on this top right spot, like one, two, three, four, five, and see if that actually does anything. That way we just confirmed no. That would be pretty nice to have. It's just that knowledge. Got a couple more bottles, that's good to see. And I should have plenty enough bottles. Well, actually no, I don't, but I'll just do this, get bottled milk, because I can make cheese with that and that would be good. And make two more bottles. And we don't have too much wood to make too much more coal, but I can dig up some coal, just like that. Yeah, okay. You should eat, that's for, no, not the, the milk. Dang it. I need to donate that bread. I need to cook more fish. That's what I gotta do. Okay, luckily the, oh wow, we're really low on coal. I need to, whether I want to or not, I need to make more coal. But, um, I, mean, I guess I don't need more than 300 wood half the time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do 90 in total at the moment, and that should be okay. But uh, what was I gonna say? Totally forget. Ooh, lots of stuff going on. But it, yeah, it at least turns it back into a bottle when that happens. Like that's good at least. Probably shouldn't be doing this so much if I'm low on energy as it is, especially since I can't use the fairies at the moment. Be cool if I could put slime in a jar. Can I? No. Oh well. Could have been fun, the game didn't agree. All right, well, I don't know what more I can do here. Oh, I can just make cheese and lavender. No, I need to spend all my money on lavender. Like an absurd amount of money on lavender. For next episode, that'll be amazing. How many do I have in total? 31, I need to spend more. I am spending literally all my cash on this, all of it. Cause I don't know, cause I need a lot of it. I need a lot of it for so many reasons. So, and I don't think there's any other way to get it. So buying it is my best bet. And I have a ton of money that I can't use on islands anyways. So might as well do this and just get like 150 of it even maybe. This is actually going really well. Can I get 150? I indeed can, nice. Okay, at this point I might even be able to finish that museum slot. I mean, I think, I mean, I would need nightshades, but that I can actually get naturally over time. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, well now I'm pretty happy with all of that. That actually turns this episode into a really positive one because we actually got what we were looking for. I mean, I could also buy some bricks, but I feel like at this point I have so little cash, I don't know if it's worth it. Sort of wanna buy the cheese, but that's what I was gonna make. Okay, sir, down here. You gotta get out of here. Okay. Oh, well, look at that. Okay, so I, this is in my inventory, the uh, amethyst. I gotta make sure I always have one of everything if like I'm crafting something. Because if not, it's gonna fall out of my chest and then I have to put it back in there and it's just a pain in the butt. 
So that goes where? Maybe it's up this way? Yeah, it's this one. I do have one crystal. I do not want to spend that one crystal. But yeah, let's find this out, ready? One, two, no, wait, that was one, two, three, four, five. So it actually did stack, so I could try to stack them all in one spot next time to save some space. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much, but I guess that is every space that it fills up, it could have been something else. This is also a really great way to farm some experience, so you know what, I'm just gonna turn this into like another 50 fiber or another 50 fiber seeds or something, because now we have like tons in total. So I was just being naive. But hey, you gotta make those mistakes, right? It just, I didn't know it made more than one seed stack. Like, why would I expect that if it doesn't tell me that, you know? Like, that's sort of the weird thing about this game, that hopefully they work on at some point. But it's very great to know that I was wrong, that the seeds are totally, totally worth it, and then I'll plant a ton more. I'm definitely gonna plant more of just the saplings. I have a ton of saplings for no reason, you know? So, lots to work on for sure. Only so much I can do in one day, though, so we're about to wrap up. Boom, got that. And like I said, one last reminder, make sure you let me know if you want me to continue with the save or not, because there's only so much more we can do besides waiting for the shops. But next episode, we'll definitely continue, because I have a lot I can do with that new lavender. I can make um, I can make the uh, druid sword. First, I can make that right now, but I'm not going to. Uh, get that stuff. He is hungry. Go. No, don't sell it, don't sell it. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> That's in the wrong menu. All right, well, before I make any more ludicrous mistakes, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Make just like a ton, make a ton, make a ton, make a ton. I mean, I guess it's like three each, so I do wanna limit it a little bit. Let's just spend 100, like 100, 99, boom. There we go. I'm gonna make a ton of seeds. That'll be awesome. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Forger. If you watch this part of the video, make sure you comment Lavender Zebra, sorry to watch to the end of the URA Zebra Tassie viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing and join the Zebra Herd on the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.